Hello everyone. Welcome to Oracle Expert channel. So today I will discuss about the value set. Okay, what is value set and how to create the value set and where value set we use in our normal scenario, our revision scenario. Okay. So the first thing the value set we created to pop up any list of value or any value on the DFF on the report okay so for example if you have report for supplier where you want to display the supplier information like supply name okay so for this one how you will get the supplier name so you have to create the value set this value set you have to link with your program name okay which you register in the application developer okay so once you link your value set it will be pop up in the lob means all the list of value for supplier for that particular entity it will display all the supplier details okay so like this this is just only one example okay we have like different type of for value set independent dependent table spacer <coughs> etc okay so uh, let's start and and value set you can create in any responsibility okay like application developer you can also create ap super user gl super user AR super user okay but you should have this function the validation function so I'm creating value set through the application developer responsibility so now I will navigate application validation and set okay so this is the value set okay so uh, okay I want to tell you the first you have to get the value set name description list of type okay the uh, list of value normally we select and this is a security type okay there are three type of security type no security non hierarchical security and hierarchical security okay so what is the use of this uh, these three types okay no security if you have created value set with the no security okay so it means you cannot apply any security rule on that particular value set for example, you have a chart of account in company and the uh, in the company segment. Okay, you have the value set. You have linked the value set, right? But if the value set security type is no security, so you cannot enable the security for that particular value set. Okay. For example, if this company a value set having two value 01 and 02 01 is for the US entity and 02 for the UK entity okay so if you want to restrict the only 01 you want to show a uh, 01 value should be appear for the US entity okay so it means you have to enable the security then it will appear only for the US entity but if you create a value set the security rabbit no security so you cannot enable the security okay so hierarchical security means if suppose you have any parent child uh, relationship okay the some values are uh, uh, like some values is dependent on the parent value okay and if you enable the security on that particular value parent value which having sub child value it will be automatically applicable for the sub child value also okay and the third one is the non hierarchical security okay so the security will be apply independently okay there is no hierarchical suppose uh, if you enable the security okay and it will work only for the particular value not work like a second example hierarchical security okay so this one based on your requirement okay you have to uh, define the security type okay so normally 
we define the non hierarchical security okay because it's a safe side okay if you want to enable the security or not okay it's up to you but okay you are able to uh, or define the security but if you selected no security then once the value set is saved you cannot change the security type no security once it's used okay so this is a format type in which format you want to create your value set number uppercase right justify and what size you want to give for the value set suppose if you give the value uh, a size 5 so you cannot enter more than 5 value means the character or number okay more than 5 okay so validation type this is a type of the value set independent dependent non pair special table transfer table independent and the transfer table uh, dependent okay so in the normal use okay we created only table dependent independent okay or none like four normally okay we use right okay so first i will create the independent value set okay so let's create hardware EVC hardware okay non hierarchical security and I will also show you how it's work okay I'm not just creating a value set and I will also use the uh, show you like uh, how it's working okay maximum size to give suppose 20 character i don't want to uh, enable for number or uppercase like this okay i want to create an independent <coughs> so this is independent value set is created let me add okay now the second i will create just let me change the name value set name Okay, say ABC country. Okay. First, I'm creating a value set. Then I will assign the values for this value set. Okay. Then you will be then you will be able to see the value. So first, I create it with independent type. Second value set, I'm going to create. ABC state state dependent dependent same also I want to keep 20 security type no no equal security and I will change the value set type dependent okay once I will select dependent the edit information will be enabled because you have to link the dependent on which value set this value set is dependent okay so this is an independent value set because this value set abc state dependent value set should we depend on any independent value set okay so i have already independent value set which is abc country independent okay default value I want to give like uh, uh, none none save I save it okay and third one I want to create table type of uh, value set so ABC ABC table type okay table non hierarchical security let's give 50 select table added information okay so here you have to select a table name for example uh let me give the example of ap 
invoices all you have to click on ap to get the exact name ap invoices all because this table type is dependent on the table okay whatever table you are selected okay first i selected the table name okay value what value i want to see in the parameter suppose i want to see only the invoice invoice number okay click on allow invoice number okay if you have where condition you want to put the where condition or additional column you can put otherwise you can save it and test see the table type complete successfully okay so it means there's no issue for the table type okay so we have created three value set one is independent second dependent and third one is a table type okay for table type there is no need to define any value because it will pick from the table okay now for other two we have to define the values okay so let's go to values value set name apc country independent i will find then find okay so <coughs> here i can give the value country like USA USA okay so this country one value I have defined for the second ABC dependent. Once I will click on dependent, it will ask for the independent values. <laughs> Sorry. So independent value USA. I have defined the value USA for the independent value set fine for the usa i have to define a value state which state say like uh, california this is one state california okay and uh, second one new york new york I have assigned the value for two value set. So this second part is completed. Okay. On the back end, now the request is completed. Okay, you can also see the request. Okay. So once it's completed, <coughs> okay. So we have created first value set and we have assigned the values to the value set. Okay. Now third one, we will link the value set where you want to link the value set you want to link this value set to report or on the application like you have created some new dff field or you are doing the chart of account setup so you have to link with the uh, your segment values okay you have to link the value set with the segment value okay so now i want to assign the value set for the reports just i want to show you the how it's work okay so let's uh, Go to the concurrent program. Okay. ABC value set. For country, I will assign my value set independent value set, which I have created. Independent value set. Okay. 
state ABC dependent because dependence belong to state. Value set ABC is okay. So error is saying first you have to save the value set. Okay, the value set is saved. Now assign me save because first you have to link and save, then link and save means each time you have to link and save. Okay, for depend or uh, dependent or independent. Now for table type ABC table type save it. Okay, so this program is registered in tables okay i will go to the tables responsibility table vision and i will submit a program abc value set okay now you can see here the value set this is country okay which is independent value set which we have created if if now we want to see the value we can see only one value because we have defined one country only which is usa it's perfect, right? Mm. As per our expectation, it's working. Now for state, we have defined the two state and third one is the none. So now you can see California, New York, and none. This is our dip, uh, dependent value set, okay? If you don't enter value in the independent value set, the dependent value set will not be enabled. Okay, make sure these things for table value set. Let's check in the table value set. Control L for the list of values. See, you can see all the invoice number. Okay, because we have given the parameter what value we want to show in the value set. So these all are the invoices. Okay, which is created. Okay. So this is the overall concept for the value set. Okay, so you can do the practice and if you have any query or um, any issue, so you can just uh, leave the comment on my new on my YouTube channel. Okay, and I will reply on your queries. And uh, thanks for watching.